Hi folks, Andrew here, Top Fitness Strategies Presents. And in this episode, take you back from the uh, Wayback Machine, if you will. And this is before I had any kind of um, podcasting studio, podcasting equipment. It was just me, a little cheap microphone and a little cheap camera back in the day uh, when I started on my YouTube channel. And I ripped the audio from this one because I thought it was pretty, um, pretty important and a pretty good one. And I really couldn't replicate it on, on the fly like I did that day. So it does sound a little tinny just to let you know. What this is, it's all about the average Joe, the average Joe lunch bucket, if you will, the average Joe workout. What does the average person do? Now, throughout this listening, you're, you're going to hear me reference workout. Well, my workout, I mean, being healthy and fit. All right, doesn't always have to be particularly workout. It can be eating healthy as well. All right, so just keep that in mind. So let's just go back, listen to it, have fun. Again, it is kind of tinny. I am uh, 100% aware of that. And uh, but don't let that take away from everything that's good about it. Okay, we'll leave it there. So enjoy, and that's it. So enjoy. Top Fitness Strategies presents the Average Joe Workout. Hey everybody, it's Andrew once again. How you doing? And today we're going to talk about the Average Joe Workout. Uh, and I phrase it like that because I once did a blog post, and I'm going to be. Uh, reference that blog post, and I'm going to redo it and, and, and things of that sort, so you'll be able to follow along uh, if you're at the website, which is topfitnessstrategies.com, by the way. I'm going to reference a few things um, uh, from that post and, uh, and the video and uh, updated the post and things of that sort, but the reason I'm, 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 I'm doing this video right now is there's a lot of people out there that um, feel there's uh, different kinds of workouts uh, for different Things which there are, but a lot of people are saying, "Well, I just I don't want the super stud workout or the super studette CrossFit uh, marathon running powerlifting incorporated all together type workout." That's great. They say, "I just want the average workout." What does an average person do with a workout? No problem. We'll get into it. In, uh, and and here's the thing, though, uh, because I come from the world of fitness. And it's also it's it's constantly in my mind. Uh, the, the, not everybody comes from the same world I come from, and and, and so um, they they think there's an uh, a basic workout, an average workout for the. Uh, I don't want to say average workout. That's that's the wrong thing. The, what what does the average person do in a workout? Now, in the past, I have interviewed a lot of people, a lot of fitness professionals. That was one thing I used to do back in the day. It's going to be starting up against Zoom. That's a, that's a whole different star, story. And without question, every one of those people I interviewed, no matter what their discipline, whether it was powerlifting, weight loss, uh, nutrition, uh, uh, um, com competitive uh, bodybuilding, whatever, because I interviewed a wide variety of fitness experts, no matter who it was, no matter what discipline they were in, one thing they all had in common without question, and every one of them will tell you the same thing, they're just hoping to inspire one person. Uh, they, they, uh, if, if one person uh, adheres to their teachings, their philosophies, and, and makes improvements with themselves based on that, that puts a smile on their face. They're, that, that, that's going to be worth it for them. And I'm the same way. If there's one person out there, this one person, I'm not talking a gazillion people, even though I like to have a gazillion people you know, watch the videos and stuff of that sort. But if there's one person that gets inspired from anything that I say that will change their life based on one of the things I say, that would be great. All right, but now, once again, we're getting off topic a little bit. Let's go back to the uh, average Joe uh, workout or average Joe workout, however you want to look at it. Let's back up a second and let's do something that uh, uh, illustrates what a typical day is in the life of Joe Lunchbucket or Joe Professional. And I'm going to be reading from uh, things I wrote down here just to be on the safe side, okay? All right, so here's the day. Get up in the morning, take a shower, grab a cup of coffee, get a donut, head to work. So far, so good? Great. Take a morning break while you're at work. Maybe get a snack, another cup of coffee, or some sort of diet drink. Great. All right. And then comes lunchtime. You're going to have lunch. Maybe grab a salad or a little card thing because, you know, you want to stay healthy. And then the afternoon snack or drink because I need that caffeine to help me get through the rest of the day. I need something to pick me up 
um, uh, to, to, to give me that energy to get through the rest of their day. Great. Whistle blows, bells ring, whatever. End of the work day, you go home. Now you have to take care of the kids. Uh, maybe to, so you have to prepare a dinner for your spouse. Uh, do some housework, some house stuff. Take care of the bills, what have you. Look at the mail. Maybe even read the paper. And then you're going to watch some TV, do some relaxing, uh, chill out and everything before you go to bed. Get up the next morning, start it all over again. Great. Now, there's going to be people out there, so, Andrew, I do a lot more than that. And, and I agree with you. There's a bunch of people out there that do a lot more than that. But here's my whole point about that whole thing. Where in that list of things, and even yourself, if you do a lot more than that, where is uh, 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 something that I mentioned about working out? It wasn't in there. Why? Because the average person especially in this country, United States, the average person does not, and I repeat, does not work out. A lot of reasons, too tired, too old, not enough time. It's a good one. Oh, you don't want to get me started on that, so on and so forth. So being healthy or getting their body healthier is not even on their agenda for the day. So when you're asking me what does the average person do for a workout, there is no average workout. There is no, the, the average person does not work out. The average person does not consciously think about health, uh, health for their body, that is. So if, if you're in the realm that now, okay, I'm starting to work out, I want to start doing something, I don't know what to do, what does the average person do? Well, you're ahead of the game because the average person does not, and I repeat, the average person does not even attempt to work out. Yeah, you're going to see gyms packed here and there, especially in January. You'll see the gyms packed because new memberships. But come March, April, it's not going to be that way anymore. It fizzles out. Once again, the average person does not work out. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't happen that way. So what I'm getting at here is if you're looking for something that the average person does health-wise, don't quit looking for it because it's not going to happen now. I'll go this far, and, and all the other trainers out there, anybody else that does fitness stuff will tell you the same thing. If you want me to put together something for you to help you out get there, we'll be more than happy to do it. Without question, we'll be more than happy to do it. But when I say put something together, put uh, together some sort of workout routine or help you along or answer some questions, things of that sort. But just remember, and this is a good thing, you are now – no longer average. You're you're way beyond that. You have just put yourself in a position where a lot of people aren't. And I'm I'm beating that dead horse. I know. And, and here's the thing: expect once you do that, the other people are going to start um, uh, questioning you. So why did did she start going to the gym, or why did he start lifting weights? Uh, and then they're going to say, um, "Well, that's in, in their mind." They're, 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 in my opinion, in their mind, they're jealous because they're not doing it, especially when they start seeing results. Then they're going to say, well, if I had the kind of time they did, I would do that. Or they don't know what kind of schedule I have, so therefore I can't do it. They're going to justify to themselves why they can't do what you're doing. They may even uh, attempt to put that um, philosophy on you and trying to put you down or uh, make it a, a negative thing. Um, to you because you're doing something that they choose not to do, and yes, it is a choice. You can you can tell me all day long you don't have the time, whatever. And once again, it's a whole different thing. But it is a choice for somebody to work out or not work out. And when I'm talking work out, I'm talking about doing things that are healthy for yourself. All right. So make make sure we're all on the all, all clear about this because I don't want anybody to misjudge what I'm saying here. I'm not saying. That working out is bad. Well, yes, I guess I am saying that. Uh, not working out is bad. What I'm saying is, uh, and, and going along with the, the whole theme to this is, if you're if you're doing something to better yourself physically wise, you are uh, no longer average. You just jumped up a notch and jumped up a couple of pegs on the quote unquote average person scale, and you're better in yourself. And that's the whole thing you have to keep in mind. No matter what anybody else says, no matter what anybody else tells you, doing something physically to your body is better than doing nothing. And I've said it all along. Now, if you need it to be tweaked, we can tweak it. If you need it to be changed, we can change it. But as long as you're going forward doing something, you're doing great, and you are no longer average. 
You're beyond that. So keep that in mind. And that's the one thing I want to say here um, and, and make sure um, I'm going through my notes here to make sure. Yes, I am using notes on this one. So, so for, okay, and I'll give you a good example here. And let, let's say you're 400 pounds, you have 70% body fat. People are going to look at you and say, well, he's not healthy, she's not healthy, what have you. But all of a sudden, you start doing something, you go to a gym, you go for walks, you ride the bike, you start lifting weights at home, whatever. You're starting to do something to change you're doing what you're doing. You just put yourself out of the average category to the above average category, and I don't care what you look like um, because you're doing something. And once you're doing something, that's a good thing for yourself. Okay. Hope I'm uh, I, I'm taking this or I'm, I'm I'm making this clear to everybody. So that's it for now. Uh, Andrew, top fitness strategies. Click the subscribe button uh, here on, on on the YouTube thing, and uh, we can go from there. But remember. There is no such thing as the average Joe workout, period, because an average Joe does not work out. Simple as that. All right. Hope you're having fun with this because I am. All right. I'll stop it here and then we'll go from there. So, all right. Until the next time, this is Andrew, Top Fitness Strategies. Ciao.